you got to you got to excuse the mess. I'm going to have to clean this up. We actually just retrofitted a new panel inside this box. So a lot of this wiring is existing. But what I'm going to do is I got to strip it all back, clean it up, and I'll get it in there the way it's supposed to be looking. But I wanted to do this video because I know when I was coming up as a technician, I used to have problems when they used to, quote unquote, throw me to the wolves and whatnot. So I want to give you three things that's going to help you as a technician and actually become a better technician when you're actually out there working on whatever it is you're working on. Some cameras, some card access, fire alarm system, burglar alarm, contacts, whatever. It doesn't matter what system you're working on. The approach is the same. So if you're working on, let's say, a fire alarm system and you have a problem with a NAC circuit, which is your notification appliance circuit, that would be the ones that feed your horns and strobe. The first thing you would want to do is go to a circuit that you know that's working, put your meter on it, see what the normal voltage is, record that. Take the wire off, see what the voltage is while the circuit is open, record that. Take the other wire off and see what the end of line resistance is, record that. Once you have those three things, then now you can go to the circuit that's not working, figure out what is missing. Now you can isolate your troubleshooting. So if you know, you're know you missing a resistor, then that means the circuit is open. That means that there's a wire broken somewhere along that circuit. You have to find it. If the voltage is too low, then that means that there's a short or maybe a bad strobe on a circuit. Still, you have to search and find it. So whatever the indication is on a particular circuit, find one that's good, see what all the good components are, then go back to the bad one and see what's missing and go fix it from there. The second thing I have for you is anytime you install something or even if you're going to go service something, download the PDF, read it. See how it's supposed to be installed. If you have a smoke detector and it needs to be installed in an eight foot ceiling, 30 feet apart, you need to know that. So that way you know how the, that way you know the space between the smoke detector or the base of the smoke detector. If he doesn't, if you don't know how it's wired, download the PDF. See where the red goes. See where the black goes. See where the end is. See where the out is at. See what the voltage is supposed to be. See all these little different things before you actually go out there and frustrate yourself because you can't fix anything. Thing. And the third thing is you got to just take your time. You got to calm down. I remember when I was coming up, I used to always ready to be rushing and rushing and rushing and rushing. You just got to take your time and look at what you're doing. Because me rushing, I used to make careless mistakes. I used to wire batteries backwards, putting red to black and black to red because I'm not paying attention because I'm more nervous than, I, than anything else because I don't want to mess up. So I'm trying so hard not to mess up that I actually mess up. So just take a, take your time. If you was ever riding with a technician or a senior tech that was when you first started off, you cool with another technician, call them up and don't be afraid to call tech support neither. So I hope that I help you actually develop you to become a better technician. I'll be doing more videos on different systems on how you could troubleshoot ground faults, openings, shorts, and things like that. And also some programming tutorials. But if there's anything you want to know specific, let me know in the comments. I'll try to help you. Fire alarm, card access, camera cameras, intercom, burglar alarm system, doesn't matter the manufacturer, doesn't matter. Your questions will get answered. I will find the answer if I don't know the answer and I'll get back to you. My name is Anthony Richardson. This is Secure Securities. This is the Secure Community. I appreciate you for watching. Thanks.